Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living with me, Rob, and my wife, Sherry. Today I need to talk about tomatoes. And if you look at my counter right here, these are just some of my tomatoes. Now, uh, that doesn't count the tomatoes we've been eating already, snacking on, and putting in the salads. But let's take a little walk out to the uh, greenhouse and see that I'm being inundated with Jetstar tomatoes. Now guys, don't think I'm complaining because it's actually what we want. But uh, by the way, real cloudy today, but hot. Well, it's definitely hot and muggy. And uh, just get done filling the pool for the puppies. The, uh, Strawberry Towers just got watered, had to fill the tanks, and uh, I'm working my way to the greenhouse. But also, I've been running hydroponics on the corn. And for those of you who don't know how I do that, this is almost empty. I do, uh, this is a 35 gallon tank, and I've ran basically 70 gallons of hydro hydroponic fluid into the corn through here. It's tapped into uh, my line that goes to the corn and I've shut off the rest of it. And the little pump in there is pumping what's left of the nutrients into my wonderful corn over here. And once again, for those who are new, we're, gr we're growing candy corn and uh, they're getting close. Uh, we staggered it uh, this first block here was planted two weeks before the second block. And we're kind of doing that just so we don't get too inundated with corn all at once. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. But let's go into the greenhouse and take a look what's happening. Well, it's definitely toasty warm in here, about 83 degrees. That's about as cool as I can get it on a day like this. But you can see now, we are getting tomatoes lots of tomatoes and uh, they're all turning really fast the lower halves and the exciting part also is I do have one uh, what do you call these? Big beef to, uh, tomatoes right here. And uh, that's my only big beef. Everything else, else is uh, jet stars and jet setters. And, uh, ooh, how sad. A tomato on the floor. That's a sad thing. But as you can see today, I'm probably gonna get another six, seven tomatoes, probably another five or six tomorrow and uh there'll be no lack of tomatoes here all right For some reason i lost a tomato fell on the floor and uh don't know what happened to it but that happens but it doesn't look like i'm gonna be hurting too bad on tomatoes so uh the floating the floating raft by the way is looking beautiful uh this is kind of a it's something new we're growing this year. Uh, it's a, uh, oh, what the heck is it? Bok choy, or it's a form of a bok choy. And uh, so we're looking forward to seeing what we can do with that. But look at those tomatoes, people. So we'll give that green tomato to the chickens. Uh, keeps, them, keeps them busy. And it's always something good for their, different for their diet. Uh, while I was in there, I did find one hornworm, a little, the little green worms, going after uh, one of my little uh, hybrid broccolis. So that was strange to find, but that happens and we got rid of it. So uh, yeah, guys, it's, it's hot. And uh, we've been filling tanks today, the tower tanks, the NFT tanks. I almost have to fill this tank for the uh, Dutch buckets every day. And uh, cause those uh, tomatoes are just drinking the water and uh, all good problems. 
Come here. Those two play all, well, try to play all day long. The, the German Shepherd obviously loves to be chased by the, by the chocolate lab. So it goes on all day. So she kind of teases the chocolate lab and the chocolate lab growls and she runs all over. And uh, anyway, but they get along great. I can't complain. So another thing I did order is uh, I did order some BT uh, because of the fact that I had problems with the tomato hornworms outside here on these plants here. And, uh, and then I just found a green hornworm, I believe is what they call them, going after one of my uh, broccolis. So it looks like I might have to lightly spray uh, some of the plants on uh, the floating wraps. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything to the tomatoes. They're doing just fine. And we do, for aphid problems, we've got a uh, hundred um, ladybugs in there to uh, take care of those. So the other problem I had today I had to fix is uh, these Walla Walla onions are getting so big that some of them can't push through the hole. So I had to cut the holes bigger just to let some of these onions grow and they're not turning yet. So they're still growing. These are monstrous. They're very large uh, onions. But they're super delicious. So uh, I think I might pull some of the monster ones out and dry them. And uh, see if some of the smaller ones get a little larger. But man, do I have some big onions. One of the last things I wanted to tell you about the tomatoes is uh, we decided to go with Jet Stars based on watching uh, uh, Homestead Tradition. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, home, Homestead Traditional, tra Traditions uh, YouTube channel. Gosh, there's so many channels I watch, but uh, uh, anyway, they grow jet stars and I've been very happy with them. I've never had a jet star until now. And what I found with them is they're very sweet, very young, very good. They're, uh, their skins aren't very uh, thick either. The uh, inside core is soft, where you know sometimes you get tomatoes that get that hard white core in the inside. I hate that. And uh, they're very meaty. They're not as super juicy as some of the other tomatoes, which seems like there's more juice than meat. But uh, the, the meat in these Jet Stars, uh, just a great slicing tomato. And uh, <coughs> I really think you could do a lot with them. Not only are they good for sandwiches, eating straight out, putting in salads, but uh, put on a hamburger. But I think they're going to make really good tomato sauce because they are very meaty. They're not as juicy as the ones you get in the store. So uh, we've been very pleased with the Jet Stars. And we do have some Jet Setters. They got, we're not sure which is which. But uh, uh, as time goes on, we may be able to see the difference between the two. And we are looking forward to the big beef to see what that tastes like out here. I'm sure it'll be delicious. But uh, yeah, Jet Star tomatoes we're very pleased with and I definitely will grow them again next year. All right guys it's a uh, been a warm morning got a lot of our chores done thought I'd kind of focus on tomatoes today uh, I'll be picking a lot more tomatoes this evening and uh, yeah we're just inundated with Jet Star tomatoes so uh, what a nice problem and uh, the chickens, by the way, love that tomato. It's gone. They ate it all. They're uh, they're little pigs. Uh, they're definitely raptors. So, uh, guys, uh, weekend's coming up. I hope everybody has a great weekend. I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you have any questions of things you're seeing that I may not be talking about, uh, or like to ha have more information about our purple beans or our Walla Walla onions or uh how things are going with the nfts <clears throat> definitely some lessons learned this year uh once we get the other greenhouse uh, we'll be able to uh <clears throat> control the environment a little more and that'll be really nice and uh yeah just learned a lot this year but 
Hey, if you got any questions or anything you'd like us to talk about more, let us know. Not a problem in the comments below. So please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And sharing our videos is really helpful. Uh, <clears throat> I can't thank you enough for those that do share it. And uh, the like button and leaving comments is important too. We really appreciate that. So guys, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye now. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available in Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.